Meditation gathers energy as we all meditate together. This week, Sabir will lead us in a meditation. And then we will have 20 minute, uh, minutes of silence. After that, we'll open it up for sharing, and we'll end at 9.45. I'll put you on, all on mute now, except for Sabir, of course. And when the meditation's over, I'll take you off. And, um, by the way, this meditation is being recorded, so um, if you don't want to be seen, then just take yourself off. Or take your video off. Okay, over to you, Sabir, and I'll just mute everyone. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Wel welcome, everyone. Good to see everyone. Okay, so I'm starting off, uh, I'm going to start by reading some of uh, Lesson th uh, th 31 of A Course in Miracles. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, Lesson 31. Um, hold, I'm, on, hold on one sec. Yeah. One sec. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, Lesson 31 of A Course in Miracles. I am not the victim of the world I see. Today's idea is the in introduction to your declaration of release. Again, the idea should be applied to both the world you see with without and the world you see within. In applying the idea, we will use a form of practice which will be used more and more with changes as indicated. Generally speaking, the form includes two aspects. One, in which you apply the idea on a more sustained basis, and the other consisting of frequent applications of the idea throughout the day. Two longer periods of practice with the idea for today are needed, one in the morning and one at night. Three to five minutes for each of these are recommended. During that time, look about you slowly while repeating the idea two or three times. Then close your eyes and apply the same idea to your inner world. You will escape from both together for the inner is the cause of the outer. As you survey your inner world, merely let whatever thoughts cross your mind into your awareness. Each to be considered for a moment and then replaced by the next. Try not to establish any kind of hierarchy among them. Watch them come and go as dispassionately as possible. Do not dwell on any one in particular, but try to let the stream move on evenly and calmly without any special investment on your part. As you sit and quietly watch your thoughts, repeat, repeat today's idea to yourself as often as you care, but with no sense of hurry. In addition, repeat the idea for today as often as possible during the day. Remind yourself that you are making a declaration of independence in the name of your own freedom, and in your freedom lies the freedom of the world. The idea for today is also a particularly useful one to use as a response to any form of temptation that may arise. It is a declaration that you will not yield to it and put yourself in bondage. And I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, uh, Lesson 31, uh, I'm not a victim of the world I see, and especially uh, my experiences with and, and my uh, and my reflections on this little bit that I just read. Try not to establish any kind of hierarchy among the thoughts. Watch them come and go as dispassionately as possible. Do not dwell on any one in particular, but try to let the stream move on evenly, evenly and calmly without any special investment on your part. And I do this thing, which is that which I call you know the, you could call it the dis dispassionate watcher, or the dispassionate witnesser or observer of thoughts. And the thing here, one of the earlier lessons in A Course in Miracles is, all my thoughts are meaningless. And it was talking here about special investment. You know, when the stream of thoughts is passing in mind, in ego mind, 
it's like actually the meaningless thoughts one doesn't hook into them and if there's just meaningless thoughts passing by it's like there's a dispassionate witnesser or, or observing of the thoughts which doesn't get hooked into them and this space opens up and within there's a stillness or a limitless observing that doesn't get hooked or tempted by the passing stream of meaningless thoughts and as it says in that lesson sometimes there can be special investment in the limited thoughts passing within the ego and there's a, like a hooking in because a meaningful or a special thought arises in consciousness and gets hooked in and one gets sucked in to the stream of the limited thoughts so I just practice this this lesson just to unhook to let go of the identification in the passing stream it's like a drama a drama of victim you know and if I get caught up into the passing thoughts it's like I'm in victimhood into the stories of the limited self in the past or the future or some kind of uh, drama and if I can let go of the, the meaning and just stay in the dispassionate witnesser they're like thoughts on a conveyor belt but I don't have to I don't have to pick up the bait I don't have to get tempted by the next thought because as far as I see it all thoughts are meaningless and if all thoughts are meaningless I don't have to hook into the next thought no thought in my consciousness is special I need not attach to the stream of thoughts because they're meaningful because they're all meaningless and in that meaninglessness I get into what I call the dispassionate witnesser or the dispassionate observer and this is for me the dispassionate observer is a field of limitless infinite stillness the, the dispassionate I also do the dispassionate witnesser with time with anything that's limited or in form or that is passing or transitory can I be the detached a dispassionate witnesser as it says in this lesson and not give special investment to the transitory phenomena which are passing by not get hooked by the temptation of form and stay in the formless or the timeless so I really like this lesson as a practice to uh, dispassionately let go of hooking into thoughts into body into time and just go within to that deep stillness that rests uh, within so I'd like to end it there and 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 so that we can open up for the meditation thank you very much <laughs>